Hello, so today we're actually going to dive into five different cities that you can travel to in Europe that are actually going to be basically cheap, safe, and a place you'd actually want to go to. If you like to travel and you like cheap stuff, go ahead and stay tuned. We're going to dive into it here in a second. Alright, so let's get into these really quickly and I'm going to go through all five for you. Now these are, these are going to be cities that you can go to in Europe that you actually really want to go to, you actually are going to enjoy and then you feel safe when you go to them. Um, and like an opposite, uh, just to show you what an opposite would be, is a great city that you want to go visit definitely would be Zurich, but the cost of the city is just, you know, obviously you don't want to spend $18 for a Big Mac meal, which is totally crazy, or, or $50, $60 on a small steak. So these are going to be cities opposite of that, they're going to be great, well, I guess half opposite. They're going to be great cities to visit, safe, but really cheap, so you can go there, enjoy yourself. You you can get you know basically five star accommodations for under a hundred dollars you can get um, a beer for maybe under a dollar you can get food a meal for maybe five six dollars somewhere in that range I'll go ahead and break down some of the prices for you as well so anyway stay tuned we're gonna go through five of them it's not the only five but it's gonna be five that you guys can check out right now number five Budapest Hungary go ahead and check out Budapest it's basically about a hundred miles east of Vienna if you're out in that direction Great city, great old town, and actually they love their thermal baths. You can see one of them here. Great time just to spend the day out and float in the thermal baths with the Hungarians. They also have great architecture. Here's the Hungarian Parliament building along the river, so go ahead and check this out as well. You can just walk around the town all day. And if you're a food lover and you like Hungarian goulash and things like that, definitely check out the downtown area. They have food halls like this built in some older buildings, so it's a great time, makes a great afternoon. Alright, so some of the costs that you can see in Budapest is about $89 a night in May for a hotel room, four stars. Meals are about $6.95, domestic beer is about $1.69, cappuccino is $1.59, bottle of Coke is $1.08, and a taxi rate per mile is $1.66, so it's pretty inexpensive. Number four, Warsaw, Poland. So Warsaw is another great place to visit. Uh, obviously you want to go probably in the spring or summer, uh, not so much in the winter. It's a great, got a great old town, great shops, great restaurants, great food. And also one of the things that a lot of people don't know about it, it has a, a brand new section also as well as the old section of, of Warsaw. So you can visit either the old and the new and uh, meet all the different people there, very nice people in Poland. And then finally the food is incredible there. Uh, obviously if you like pierogies and things like that, sausages, sauerkraut, um, cucumber soup, things like that, you're going to love Warsaw, Poland. Warsaw is pretty inexpensive also, so it's $59 per night for a four-star hotel in May. Meals are about $6.45, domestic beer is $2.50, cappuccino is $2.50, bottle of Coke is about a, oh, just over a buck, and then taxi rate per mile is only $1, so you can get around pretty easily in the city for not that much money. So go ahead and check out Warsaw, Poland. Number three, Tallinn, Estonia. All right, so heading up a little bit further north is Tallinn, Estonia. It's got a great, incredible uh, downtown area, beautiful old section of the city. So go ahead and check out Tallinn if you get a chance. Um, you can go ahead and just kind of walk around the town. It's got great restaurants, great shops. You can go ahead and take a little bike ride like this and see all the different sites. Um, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is the way the city was created. It's basically a walled city, beautiful red roofs and things like that. So it's one of those things you can take tons of pictures, just sit out in a cafe, have a cappuccino, great time in Tallinn. So town's going to be a little bit more expensive. It's $82 a night for a four-star hotel. Meals are about $7.88 for one person. Domestic beer is $3.50. Cappuccino is $2.89. Bottle of Coke is $1.96. But the taxis are really cheap again. It's only about $0.90 cents for a taxi in the city, so you can get around really easily. Great town to visit. Number two, Prague, Czech Republic. So here's one of my favorite places to visit. If you go there, you can definitely see all the red roofs, all the people, it's very festive, got tons of food, great beer, just a great place overall to visit. Go in the summer though, I, I recommend the summer. Here on Charles Bridge, you can cross this. There's always tons of people, vendors selling things. Definitely go across the river here and check out the castle up on the hill. Go ahead and look at the guards guarding the castle. Just a great time in general. You can actually take a boat, go in a restaurant on a boat as well. Um, obviously you can look at the astronomical clock here. There's just tons of people always in Prague and it's just a great atmosphere to go visit. So I re totally recommend Prague. It's my number two. All right, so in May you can get a hotel in Prague four stars for $77 a night. Meals are pretty inexpensive at $6.48. Domestic beer is really cheap at $1.99. Cappuccinos will set you back about $2.15. Bottle of Coke is cheap again at $1.36. And taxi rates per mile is $1.95. So very cheap in Prague. And finally, number one, Krakow, Poland. 
All right, so in the south of Poland, pretty much in the very, very south tip is going to be Krakow, Poland. I love this city. The architecture, the people, everything about it is a great place and there's a lot of festivities always going on. You can walk literally five or ten minutes outside the city and visit this castle. It's on a river, you can take a boat around it or you can go into the castle, spend hours inside learning about the history of Krakow. One of the things I like about Krakow, you can spend you know, a number of hours in the downtown area. There's a ton of tour groups down there. There's going to be a ton of restaurants where people can sit outside and just have a beer, have a cappuccino, have a coffee. So it's one of those towns where you can just sit around and people watch. There's a market down there as well. So if you get good weather, Krakow's a great place to visit. It's also pretty inexpensive. It's going to be $78 for a four-star hotel. Meals are about $5.99. Domestic beer is $1.99. Cappuccino is $1.97. Bottle of Coke is $1.12 only. And then tax rates are only $0.88 cents a mile. So if you want to get around the town, it's very easy. We've got great public transportation as well. So visit Krakow. Anyways, thanks for watching my channel. And again, I do uh, videos on basically finance. I do them on uh, technology. I do them on travel. So um, I post maybe two to three videos per week. So please subscribe if you can help me out. I'm just trying to get my subscriber base up a little bit. And I'll definitely make more of these. Post some things in the comments that you want to see. And I'll definitely make those for you as well. Talk to you guys next week.